When I'm running a new program, I often look for opportunities to reuse the elements, whether they're POUs, like function blocks or functions, data structures or visualizations. Libraries can become a really nice, easy way to share those from project to project and control the version of them, as well as protect the back-end code that you may not want everybody to see. So in this uh, video, I'm going to demonstrate creating libraries um, adding them to your library manager and then compiling them and making them shareable for others as well. So if you have Codices 3 or eCockpit installed, uh, please follow along. Let's get started. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to essentially create the code um, and create the objects that we're going to um, ultimately turn into a library. So you can see here I've got a blank project with uh, WAGO 750-8101 PFC 100 controller. Uh, all I've done is scan this into the program. I have nothing in my PLC PRG. This is a fresh project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import some pre-built um, objects into my project. So I'm going to go to File, Import, uh, Import, Export, and I'm going to import this .export file that I created uh, previous. Now when this opens up, um, I'm just going to uh, add this to my application and I'm going to select all. So I'll close this. I'll move back to the editor and I'm going to collapse all these so we can talk about them one by one. Um, this is all stuff you would have in a normal project for the most part. Um, Let's start with the POU. So I created a function block, and this function block is essentially taking a raw thermocouple input signal, and it's converting it to this um, data type that I created, which is a type thermocouple, which we can then look at now. You'll see this contains a raw value, a temperature C, and a temperature F. All these values will be coming from that function block. Next, I've got a visualization. And this visualization is just, um, it's really a placeholder. Um, this is expecting a, an instance of the function block. So we're going to point the function block, the instance of the function block, to this visualization when we implement it. Um, then I've got some internal working. So I put these in a folder called um, internal. And these are some data types, uh, some images for the documentation and whatnot. Um, that I just want to live in the background and I don't want um, I don't necessarily want them to be a main part of the, the library. I have some standalone images that I use also for the documentation and then there's some library information uh, that is actually generated by the, the project. So I've got each one of these um, just for test purposes I'm going to call this from the, the PLC and we'll start by instantiating our thermocouple input and uh, getting a value from that so um, this is an instance of the T, T, uh, TC or the thermocouple, and this is going to be um, IWTC raw. We're just going to call this variable IWTC raw for the thermocouple raw value. This is going to be at per percent IW0 or IW1, excuse me. This is just an IC uh, language standard. You can address this in the, uh, how, however you like. You can do it in the GUI too. Um, instance of the function block and the, this one we're going to call uh, FBTC just like the uh, instance and you can call that FBTC as well um, or it's a type FBTC and then we're going to uh, create an instance of the data type for the thermocouple and we'll actually self-generate this so Let's go to the code editor, and this is all just for test, but we're going to um, call the instance of the function block. This is going to be uh, IWTC raw. And let's just make up a name here. We're going to call this type my TC. Hopefully, these names don't get confusing. We're going to auto declare this. You'll see it's grabbing the type thermocouple because that's what the function block is instructing it to do. And yeah, this is all we really need for now. I suppose um, we can also create the visualization. Um, so we can add the instance of the one from our project just for testing our library elements. 
And you can see here in, under current project, I have this TC Viju. Um, let's move this into place. And as I said before, it's looking for an uh, instance of the function block. So under the reference here, um, we'll just do PLC PRG, our FBTC, we'll point that there. And so now we should be able to go online and uh, see this working. Okay, so there we go. There's our thermocouple value. You can see it's changing in the raw. And we're on to creating the library. What we want to do is um, basically we're going to move all of this stuff out out of the application layer and move it into this project library. So this can be as easy as selecting all of these folders and just dragging them now into the project library. They move in there all expanded, so I'm just going to whittle these down. And now that they're in the project library, we don't need this application layer anymore, so we can go to the device structure, right click on the PLC and just delete it. So we're going to delete this completely from the project. Now all of this lives in the project library. Uh, there is no controller associated with this anymore. However, it's still a .ecp project. So what we want to do is go to File, Save As, we'll browse, and we're going to change this dropdown to .library. And we're actually going to save this now as this Control c lib thermocouple library. I'm going to override it. And there's some there's some options in here that maybe we want to go, go fix. So we'll go back here to File. We're going to go to Project Settings and Project Information. And so now this is specific to the library. So um, this is going to be the listed metadata for the library itself. So we're going to call this uh, company's going to be Control C. The title is going to be Control C lib thermocouple. The version is going to be, we're just going to call this 1.0.0.0. Uh, the library categories, we could mess with this. This is, all has to do with the .xml um, structure, but we're going to leave this default so far. Under default namespaces, we're going to call this also control C lib thermocouple. The author, uh, that's me. And the description, so we're going to say library to convert raw TC values. Keep it simple for now. Now, there's another step we want to we want to take. What we want to do here under key is put doc format. We're going to leave this text, and the value is going to be restructured text. Uh, we'll come back and see the effect of this. We're going to add this now to the to the project, but this essentially allows us to to use this uh, markup language in the comments of each object, if we like, um, which will create documentation. And I'll show an example of that here in just a little bit. Okay, we'll click OK. We're going to save this again and go back to the project. So uh, now we've got. Our documentation, we've got POUs, types, etc. Um, now we're going to want to compile this and save, but I already know we're going to get a, a syntax error when I check this because we moved it out of the standard library side. So you see how it says cannot convert uh, unknown type mid? It's because we're missing a library. Um, so we're going to go now to the library manager and I'm just going to make sure I add the standard library. This is going to um, happen automatically now if, if your project doesn't already contain the standard library. It's going to add that as a dependency. So we're going to add this standard library. And now if I do a syntax check, it should be just fine. So now we have it. We have a, a saved uh, .library file, uncompiled library, and we're ready to go on to the next step where we actually create the uh, library object. I'm going to show this. I'm going to go to my POUs. I'm going to go to my FBTC. 
and just kind of step through the comments. So you'll see the comments follow this kind of, um, uh, yeah, strange looking format. This is part of the restructured text uh, markup language that we referenced earlier. So you can see here, I'm heading this up with a, uh, an image. Uh, it's got some alignment stuff similar to other markup languages. I've got a version in here, etc. So um, you'll see the outcome of this when I'm done. There's a really good reference document if you just if you just Google um, restructured text codices um, and follow the prompts. It takes you to this library development summary, and you can go to the markup specification and study this. But there's some really good um, material in here, and you'll see the 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 effect of this when when it's all done but essentially documentation is built in the comments and um, there's some good reference material which I'll link in this video as well. In the last steps we created the code we converted this now to a dot library file now it's time to to save this and add it to our library repository so we have these three buttons here we already did the syntax check we know we're good so now we're going to compile this and save and I'm going to do this now to the desktop, and I'm going to call this uh, control C lib thermocouple. This is going to be a compiled library. So now it's actually going through the syntax checks again. It's uh, compiling this down to executables, and it's saving it now to my desktop as a version or as a, a file type compiled library. So if we look now, we should be able to see this. Um, we have the, uh, the library here, and one of these is actually going to be the compiled library. There we are, right there. So if we go back to the project, um, now we've got this button here. It says Save to Library Repository. So this is actually going to just automatically load it into the repository. If you wanted to share it with somebody, you could move that uh, .compiled library file to uh, um, any other uh, project and import it to the library manager. It's now ready to go. So there we have it. Now we have a uh, library saved into the repository. If we look here, we should see it. There it is. So next we're going to move on to using this in a new project with another controller. So for the final part of this, we're just going to test this in a new project. I've got a 750-8102 controller here. Um, I've added the I.O. module, but I haven't added any, any program. We're going to go now to the program structure, and we're going to go to the library manager, and we're going to find the library that we just created. So I'm going to right-click, add library, go to miscellaneous, and I'm going to add the control C lib thermocouple. And once this is loaded, um, we can see the documentation piece that we created. So if I expand the POU as I go to the FBTC, I can click on documentation. And you can see it's now got our images in here. It's got our, our version that we created, the date, etc. cetera. Um, the control C lib thermocouple name. And then, you know, all of the attributes that we created in the, in the comments uh, markup language. So now we can test this by going to our project. Um, we're gonna, just like we did in, when we tested this before we created the library, um, we're going to create the instance of the thermocouple. This is going to be uh, IWTC raw at percent IW1. And this is going to be integer percent IW1. There we go. Uh, instance of the uh, function block. BTC. It's going to look a little different because it's going to reference the library now. So we're just going to use the input assistant, open the library, the POUs, and select this. So this is control C lib thermocouple.fb uh, TC and instance of uh, uh, DT for the thermocouple. And create all this the same way we did before. Instance call our function block. TC raw. We're going to create this uh, type my PC just like we did before. Create the object type. 
Again, this is going to header this or prefix it with the library name. And so that's good to go. And now we're just going to add a visualization. Okay. And in the visualization toolbox now, you can see we have this control C lib thermocouple. Um, yeah. Toolbox. So we're going to pull this in. And go to properties and we're again just like we did in our earlier test we're just going to point this at a instance of the function block so plc prg fbtc okay and if we compile everything should be ready for us no errors and we can connect so libraries can help you protect your source code they can help you um, create templates of things that you might use often. They can allow you to do some sort of version control if you've got multiple developers working on different attributes in your project. Um, they can be a very handy tool. You can see now this is working, the visualization is working. I've got uh, data coming in on my thermocouple and my function block is doing its job. So 